so Gemini, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. That will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. As I always say, just please take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes, you know, there could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So allow me to just kind of finish laying these cards. Ah. So I'm just going to take this in and I'll be back. So Gemini, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you guys can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, and of course, you know, please like and make a comment. It just kind of helps with the algorithm if you so choose. All right, so just looking at the past, I like to kind of see where we're coming from when it comes to just the current state of the connection, what brought you guys to this point. And it seems like we've got the three of swords here that represents the current, that, that state. So it seems like there was maybe some betrayal or um, a betrayal that caused some form of hurt. And I feel like Scor uh, not Scorpio, Gemini you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. I feel like it's coming from your end. I feel like whatever this caused or whatever was going on in terms of this three of swords, you kind of contributed to that. However, this person, it seems like they kind of gave you a chance or there was an opportunity for things to turn around or for you guys to maybe just work on things, see if you guys can move through that. And you recognize that as, you know, uh, uh, things turning around in your favor. Maybe at some point you thought you was going to lose this, but there is that opportunity that this person gave you. However, there is still this indecisive, or was, this is in the past, indecisiveness there for you. Even though this person seemed like, maybe they had a conversation with you where it's a case of, okay, can we work through this? Can we get past this? Even though there, even though there was that for them, there's still a bit of judgment there. Naturally, I mean, naturally, especially if this, you know, was fresh for both of you. The point is this person was still willing to work through that or attempt to see whether, you know, you guys can salvage this relationship. So there possibly could have been a lot of communication or maybe this is just them waiting. It's like they're waiting for something to happen, maybe waiting for your response or waiting for you to do something um, with the urge to communicate send some form of communication or even waiting to communicate or waiting for communication there you go waiting for information to kind of come in yeah they still had a bit of judgment there like i said just based on what you contributed or your actions but it's like they were pushing it down it's like okay i'm not gonna focus too much on that i really want to focus on seeing if we can actually move past this move through this yeah but again, it's you recognizing that this is, you know, your luck coming in or things turning around in your favor, because I don't feel like you wanted to end this. There is still this indecisiveness there. We've got that healing fixing. Yeah. And that's the chariot as well as the nine of cups. So that talks about emotional happiness. But again, we've got the chariot on top of that. So we've still got this back and forth feeling within yourself. 
even though that, you know, that second chance, let's call it, has come back around, which brings us to where we are at the moment. So it seems like, of course, you know, you guys have not dealt with what has happened fully. You're kind of in the mix of that. So it's like this energy that's play, plaguing, is it plaguing? Plaguing or plaguing your um, relationship at the moment. And this person is wanting answers. It's like they're coming to you saying, okay, well, I need certain questions answered when it comes to maybe the past and what you had done or um, what that means or that didn't make sense or, you know, it's like, when you said that, did you mean this? Or how come that happened? It's like they're coming with facts and figures and they're, they're wanting answers to certain things that they've got in their head around the past, around the past. And for you, you're kind of showing up as, all right, so it seems like there's some form of solution that's come about for you. Solution to maybe how to fix this. I feel like that's heavily lying on how to fix this or how to move through this so of course there was indecisiveness here but you still kind of took the steps to keep remaining in this relationship you are thinking about there is this level of belief so th i feel like there's maybe an idea that's come about for you or um a way of doing so, some form of solution some form of solution gemini which you believe because we do have the magician card there you believe that you can make things happen you can move through this you can work this if you want to however your challenge is we have that tower card a lot has happened a lot has happened based on this past incident and it doesn't necessarily have to be because you know the tower card it looks pretty dramatic it doesn't have to be necessarily in a physical w way where or has had let's say that a, vis a physical impact on this relationship in the sense of maybe you know there was no loss of money or loss of homes or stuff like that, tangible stuff. This could also be, and I feel like for the majority of you it is, is the, the internal stuff that's going on. It's like, have I lost this person's trust? Has, is, are they able to trust me again? Am I able to get that back? Yes, I know this person wants to continue within this relationship, but are they, can they really trust me again? Uh, because of course there's been you know, it's, it's had an impact. It's had an impact. It's had an impact. But again, there is this idea or solution that's come up for you. And that's prominent, Gemini. Yeah. Yeah, there's just a lot of things that has happened. You know, the impact that that's had. But like I said, this person is wanting questions. It's like they're coming to you with questions or answers or wanting answers to questions that they have. And and because they're not being kind of satisfied by the maybe the responses that they get in, they've now entered into this indecisiveness in their mind. It's like, am I or aren't I? Am I in this or am I not? Am I gonna go ahead with this or am I not? The chariot is back and forth. One minute they are and one minute they're not indecisiveness yeah this person could be dealing with yeah this karma in this deck is is represented by the judgment card it's pretty much the judgment card there's still judgment there like i said it's going back to this judgment that they still had or they yeah that's kind of carried over especially because this person feels like you're just not answering their questions they're not satisfied with the answers that they're getting from you yeah, it's been challenging, even though they've been holding on. Their challenge is that seven, turning this into something. It's like they've put in work, which is the effort that they've made so far. But it's not progressing. It's not, it's not having a huge impact on the outcome of this relationship. Unable to connect emotionally again, even. You know, and that's because in order for that to happen, you both need to sit down and have a real conversation. You know, put it all on the table. Put it all on the table. And, you know, before we continue this in part two of the reading, where we kind of look and see if this person, because again, you know, this indecisiveness is going to breed a lack of patience and, 
you know, it's, it's boiling down to, because again, you, you do have the solution, but it's boiling down to, are you able to put in that work in enough time? Are you able to, and not just you, and not just you, Gemini, you know, this person, your person as well, whoever this is showing up, you both really, but in order for that to happen, you both have to get to a place, a real place where you're able to sit down and be honest about what it is that was going on for you. Um, if you're the person that kind of caused this, which we can have already established, but really get real as to why that was for you. What caused you to want to do that? What, what about what, you know, this, you know, especially if this is your friend, this is someone that you've had a relationship with, you've built something with. Um, and if you're, if you're both continuing or wanting to continue this relationship, then those are the types of conversations that need to be had. Honest, real, you know, I think you both deserve it. But we'll move into part two of the reading. We'll continue this in part two. We'll get an idea of what you both want. Like I said, this person is, there's this indecisiveness that's happening here now, along with that judgment. So it's really just kind of a matter of time until this turns into, you know. So part two should be showing up on the screen as we speak now. So click on that and I shall see you guys in a bit. Ooh.